Hello, Maggie. You're back again. You like all the goodies we give. All right. Maggie, got some more for you. Come on down. That's Charlie, and a little more skittish than Maggie. skittish. Charlie's a little more skittish than Maggie. Maggie comes right up pretty good, but Charlie gets a little skittish for whatever reason. Yeah, that's Charlie. Well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. It's Thanksgiving Day. I'm going across the lake to visit some friends for Thanksgiving. We've got pretty steady snow all day long. Heavy, heavy snow. It's supposed to be snow for the next four or five days, so we'll get a bunch of this. But it's a beautiful day out. Snow is covering everything. Just gorgeous. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. I'm going to take the boat across. Get things ready and started and warmed up. And then as you can see, you can't see very far. So today's the day you got to use a compass because uh, you cannot see more than a few hundred yards because of the snow and fog that's here. When you're alone in the bush, even going to Thanksgiving uh, meals, <laughs> uh, if you're alone and don't have any other help, you got to figure out how to make it work, like we used to do back on the farm. And out here, things aren't very forgiving, so you got to be really careful. But uh, when you are careful, uh, things work out well. And today, we're going to have to use the compass going across because you can barely see across the bay here. And I got about five miles to go to get where I'm heading to today. And uh, but should work out good with the compass. Calm waters. Really good, be a fun day. Fun day in the bush. We'll go out of the mouth of the bay here, over by the island, and then get my bearing. I got a compass here on the phone, iPhone, that I'll use to uh, make sure I got the right heading to head across the fog. There's a few miles we got to go before we can see any land. You want to make sure you go the right direction because you end up going around in circles in the fog. It happens every time. I have a tendency to go to the left. 
when I don't have, when I'm in the fog, if I don't have a compass. We'll go across this corner over here and then take our heading. There are some landmarks here with that island and there's some rock outcropping, but we're along the shore here. This is the point. From over here, then I'll take a, I'll stop and take a bearing and then I'll head out. I'm gonna have to shut this off for a bit because I gotta use the compass. Well, there's the last land now I'm lined up at about 130 degrees. You want to make sure in the fog that you always follow your compass. That's where people make mistakes is don't follow your compass headings. And that's how you get in trouble. Because the waves throw you off, all kinds of things will throw you off. And that could really be deadly in a hurry. Everything plays games with you. You can't see anything out here. I'm strictly following the compass. See back behind us. Yeah, you can't see even a quarter of a mile in this weather here. Okay, so I made it across so I can see the shore over here. For the last four miles, I haven't been able to see any beach any shore at all and as you can see it's a little a little bit rough out there but if you don't have a compass kind of like things in life if you don't follow some guidelines you could end up in a world of hurt and especially out here in the bush in Alaska I came all within a couple hundred yards of my target that didn't work out too bad but I would have swore I was going around in circles and going the opposite direction. That's why it's always important, especially out here in the bush, when I'm the only one in the lake, on this 60 mile long lake, I'm the only one with a boat out here. So, and I don't mind that as long as you're safe, but you better know what you're doing, because this, this world out here can kill you in a hurry if you aren't careful always got to be on your guard and take all the safety precautions like with a compass don't leave home without a compass you got to have a compass and here it's night and day difference plus I got a boat that is a self bailing boat it's got two tanks underneath it so water gets in the boat it runs right out <coughs> the, the floor of the boat here sits above the water line so it's pretty much impossible almost impossible to sink it but you want to really know what you're doing and have a good equipment. I wouldn't go out here with any other boat than what this boat is right now. And uh, we got about, oh, two, three foot waves, not too bad. Yesterday there were six and seven foot waves. But uh, it's an enjoyable, actually it's a fun experience. It adds kind of a tinge of danger to it, which it definitely is. But uh, it beats sitting in an office you know, listening to a telephone or something. <laughs> uh, now I'm coming around this island here, and we'll be coming into the bay here in just a little bit. Like I said, this is a place you want to be careful. You've got to know your shorelines too, because there's rock outcroppings and different things. Almost coming around the point here to get into the bay, and then we'll start getting out of the waves. Again today on the way home, I'll be over here for a couple hours. Sundown's at about 4.30, so I'll make sure I'm leaving by at least four o'clock, unless it clears up. With this weather, I don't want to be stuck out in, in the dark out in this stuff. And get over here for a little while. There's the opening to the, to the bay. This is a heavy slush here. I'm gonna push the, there we go.
Hey. Hey. Brother Eric, man. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy. Thankful for compasses. Amen. Had to follow Amen. compass all the way across. Come on in. Yeah. Walk right into some. Yeah, this good is Eric food. Wardell. And here's Precious. Hello. Precious gal in the bush, but her name is Precious. Awesome. Good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy All right. Thanksgiving. Good we are good. chowing down right now. Hey, you awesome. should join us. You want to share a little bit about what, what the, yeah. the get together today is? Yeah, well, we're just as a Bible camp and a TLC group, we're getting together and uh, enjoying Thanksgiving. Everyone made their own food, and we're going to potluck style it. And then we're going to play some games, come in from the snow, and uh, eat some food. Sounds good. Very thankful. All right. Well, I had a great Thanksgiving meal with everybody. A good time, played some games. And it's coming out here to look at heading back across the lake, but looks like the wind has picked up more and a lot more snow than we're expecting. So I'm gonna stay overnight here tonight. The lodge will not much below freezing, so it'll stay comfortable there till tomorrow when I it's supposed to lighten up on the wind, but we've had a lot of quite a little snow, four or five inches just in the last uh, couple hours. But they're going to go down and make sure the boat's all tied together, uh, everything safe and sound, so I can leave it overnight there. Yeah, we're getting some pretty good wind coming up. I wouldn't want to be on the lake now, so good time to stay overnight here when it's comfortable and warm, and then I'll. Uh, Head back across tomorrow. I'm gonna go out check that boat now. Yeah, there'll be a little bit of ice to break in the morning, but we should be able to get through okay. What I do is put a little antifreeze in the motor, make sure nothing freezes. Use the antifreeze here and run that back through. Then it won't be nothing will be frozen in this. Everything drains out. Pretty good little system, especially in this cold weather, so things don't freeze up. So I got antifreeze all the way through the system. Drained all the water out, blew it out first, and then. Uh, Put antifreeze in there and that'll uh, keep everything good so when I come back tomorrow uh, I won't have to throw anything out it'll work out pretty good but uh, pretty icy out there and uh, this is pretty calm in here compared to what it'd be like out on the lake it'd be really really rough good time to stay safe make good decisions so I'll be heading up and staying over at a Eric's house tonight weather out this storm that's come through. Pretty heavy storm, a lot of snow. More snow than we've had all fall this so far. <clears throat> well, it's, we got a bunch of snow last night. Oh, goodness. Lots and lots. We got a little bit of ice to work out, but it should be should be pretty easy. Pretty much all slushy. Should be able to get it out of the ice here pretty good. So when you're out in any kind of conditions, when we're out here on the lake, we always have safety equipment with us. We have extra food, extra clothing, uh, heaters, fire starters, all kinds of things that you'd need in case you get stranded someplace you can start a fire. A little propane heater, uh, pretty much everything that you'd need if you're going to run into a problem. Well, we just happened to see a otter here. Where'd he go? Got an otter checking me out. Where'd he go? There he is. He's not sure what I am and what's going on here. We'll see if we can see him more. 
might be in the bay here fishing, catching fish, I'm sure. They usually come up around these docks. There he is. He must be down fishing. Pretty, yeah, he's got something off the bottom. There's rocks and stuff down below, and they go down below and turn over these rocks and get sculpin and different minnows that are sitting in, in these rocks. Pretty slick. That's an adult one. Got quite a few otters. There he goes. He's going to have a good time. When I got back to the lodge, it was just like it was a fairyland. Snow covering the trees, and even trees broken down. But just a beautiful place to be. Pretty fortunate to have the opportunity to spend time here. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this journey here to the Wilderness Pro Lodge and look forward to seeing you again. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe and uh, like it and leave a comment and then share it with your friends if you enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you again back at the lodge. <laughs>